，你好，我幺二零的。那我问一下，那个老人是怎么不舒服呀？多大岁数啊？五十是吗？他之前有什么病吗？ We are now in Tianjin Medical Emergency Center with the adjustment of anti-COVID-19 measures. China's effort will focus on preventing severe cases and protecting the health of people here. Recently, as the number of patients infected with COVID-19 has increased in Tianjin, the one to zero emergency workload has surged. Today, we are going to follow one of the ambulances to observe. How one two zero receive critically ill patients in forms first aid and transfers the patients to the hospital. At about 5:49 p.m., the ambulance arrives at the nursing home in Tianjin. The 50 years old patient has developed a pulmonary infection. She has been bedridden for a long time with a severe underlying medical condition. About 30 minutes later, the ambulance arrived at the second hospital of Tianjin Medical University. Here, the emergency physician will perform a more comprehensive examination and treatment for the patients. In order to ensure that patients infected with COVID-19 can be treated as early as possible, the emergency center staff work overtime. After returning to the office in Wu Fuli. They can only squeeze in some takeout meals during short breaks in between missions. 就是今天早晨，我们从七点上班开始，就一直在不停的接任务，大概连续出了六趟左右吧。然后我们近期的工作就是一直处于在不停的出车的一个状态。但是我们的同事们都非常辛苦，都是坚持在一线的。我们也是希望通过我们的一个齐心协力，争取去攻克到这这次的困难。从患者拨打幺二零电话的进入。到我们的受理，到我们安排救护车的派出，以及后续一系列的一些整体信息的分析，都在这个系统里面。目前全市呢有四百四十九辆的救护车，我们也有一个比较充沛的人力的保障。目前来看，我们有信心，也有能力，给我们天津的愿景百姓提供一个高质量的愿景急救服务。China is also expanding. The capacity of、uh, fever clinics like the one we are right now in the second hospital of Tianjin Medical University. So, the chronic patients are mainly the body temperature is not stable, such as our lungs are not good, the heart rate is low, and the breathing is very fast. And also, the breathing is very fast. This part is related to the infection. The other part is related to the elderly people who have some basic diseases. Basic diseases are more severe in the spread of the virus. By coordinating resources from all sides and setting up a second emergency area, the Second Hospital of Tianjin Medical University urgently expands the original 44 beds in the emergency room to 70 beds and dispatch ventilator, transnasal high-flow oxygenators, infusion pumps, and other equipments to ensure that patients with acute and critical illness have adequate resources for resuscitation. At the same time, for medical staff, the only thing they could think of. Is to brave difficulties. After three years of an effective and proactive fight against novel coronavirus, China is opening a new chapter now, shifting the focus from infection control to medical treatment. Authorities has announced that they will be downgrading its management of COVID-19, treating it as a Class B infection rather than a more serious, a more dangerous Class A. As the most populated country in the world steps into this new chapter, grassroots hospitals in local communities are the, as the one we are right now in the Chitin district in Tianjin municipalities are key to ensure a fluid transition and to provide the best health care possible for those who need it. Hello. First, in the human resources, we have prepared. 这个安排了三级医疗网络，呃，在基层我们有社区卫生服务中心的这个家庭医生为患者提供呃居家医疗护理的服务和慢病啊、呃，包括一些常见病多发病的诊治。呃，第二级呢是我们在区域内啊有我们的龙头的这个西医院一一所三级的啊西青医院来做啊、呃、一些。
这个比较重的患者的救治。天津市啊，有我们区域的这个三级医院，负责危重症患者的救治，从呃医疗救治方面呢，给予患者充分的保障。这是独立的发热诊室，独立的这个药房，目前药品储备是非常充足的。From ibuprofen to Lian Hua Xin Wen, a traditional Chinese medicine, health authorities are stepping up production to meet the demand. At national level of this kind of medicine for fever. In this community, the supply is guaranteed. 中成药，四十余种，一万多盒。为了保证居民的一个基本用药，我们专门成立了一个发热药库。目前我们发热药库呢，主要是储存了解热镇痛类、呃止咳平喘类、抗炎抗病毒，一共是四十余种，一万多盒，能保证辖区居民发热病人及其有相关症状的病人将近一个月的用量。In Sichuan District, the number of visits to fever clinics has turned downward. We could say that the difficulties have been gradually overcome. Grassroots medical departments are going all out to give more care and attention to vulnerable groups. Outside the hospitals, the bustling traffic of the city is back. Diners eat steaming meals in restaurants one more time. A scenic spot are full of tourists again, and factories work against the clock to make up for delays caused by COVID-19. For three years, China has kept the lowest infection and fatality rates among all major countries. People's lives and health are always put first in China. Keeping this principle in mind, China will eventually win the battle against the COVID. And steer people's life and production back to normal. The bustling, safe, and peaceful China that we are familiar with is coming back.